Welcome to hole number one of the Big Rig Tournament. Playing here on the Sequoia Creek course with new hole positions. Two back, one bar of left spin here on the drive with the extra mile and a quasar ball. You'll, you'll see that I'm setting it up there with the edges of the yellow ring equally touching the rough on the left and the right. Adjusting there, 10% maximum adjustment. No overpower, no curl, no funny business here to start things off. I'm looking forward to this. I've loved this course for a long time, and I think these new positions are, are quite good overall. Uh, we're going to get a lot of drops, that's for sure. Second shot then, I'm coming at this one with a thorn. There is a bit of a rough bump you can play here. Um, I think it's going to be best served for higher level accounts. I end up settling on five bars of backspin here, and we make our adjustment at 20% medium distance. Now, in this light cross tailwind, I have that ball guide right to the pin so yeah i think this is going to be pretty good i mean i used to play here on the right now i'm coming in at the left a lot of the holes i think that they've intentionally guided us to the non-traditional paths and we'll talk more about that that's for sure so get that perfect that's what you got to do that's in everybody's notes hit perfect get those drops we'll see you on number two Hole number two is a par three, and I'm gonna start off here with the rough bump because I believe that's what most people are gonna play. I'm setting up the shot with a sniper and a quasar ball, and I'm gonna make a 25% minimum distance adjustment. But I'll tell you what, I did not have a lot of luck with this. Oh, and don't forget, if this wind gets a little bit too strong here in a tailwind, you will need to step down to a power zero ball. So consider like a Marlin or you know something with a little bit more spice. Uh, I didn't have much consistency here on this par three when I was playing it with the rough bump. Now I'll show you the bounce over shot next and you can be the judge, but I just want folks to be able to see the different sort of varieties and ways to play these new hole positions. And if you don't want to miss out on any of these upcoming videos, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to Ehrlich Gaming. Woo! And on the next shot here, I'll show you why. Okay, so hole two, once again, we're gonna go with this bounce up shot. You're gonna see me adjusting for like 5.6 or so bars of backspin here. I think it's 5.5 or 5.6. Nonetheless, setting it up at maximum distance with that power one ball, and I think that's very important. Now take a little extra time with this ball guide because it just kind of trickles a little bit there off to the left a bit prematurely. So take note of that. We may wish to play this with a little bit of right spin, but again, you know, you're gonna have to do what you think feels right, setting it up 20% max when I'm actually adjusting from back here and not further down onto that slope. Clean, pure, perfect ball. This is what you wanna do. And I think this is gonna be the way I'm gonna try to commit to it. We'll see how it rolls into the hole. Hole number three, this part five, you know, I've decided I think it's the best idea for most players to lay up here. If you have a bigger ball, you have a bigger club, you can definitely get over there with a better wind. However, in this situation here, one top, one right, I'm playing this at 10 percent max basically just laying this ball up to the end of the first fairway here and that puts me in a very safe position to get this ball to the green in two now depending on the level of the clubs in your bag it's going to depend on the decisions that you're going to have to make and i mean if you want to use a top spin boost ball here then by all means i do think the left hand side is the preferred route for albatross however this is going to be a challenge for a lot of players who don't have notes to even get that eagle so keep it in mind do what works best for you the hole has been placed here behind that bunker a little bit so that's where the left approach is going to work nice however this one here even in headwind as you can see we can get this one to the green nice max top spin here the big dog would have a little bit more bounce a little bit distance i should say so it's one of these situations where there's a lot of really good opportunities i'm going to drop a few more for you and I think this one is gonna just depend on your, your bag quite a lot. So perfect every time though, that's in the note. <clears throat> Did I say that? I meant, you know, just get it to the greed. It's all good, right? I hope I see you guys in the live stream. I do play at a little bit of an odd time, but we'll chip this one in and we'll on to number four. Hole number four, I believe I've found a pretty decent line here, playing it with a no moving target setup. I'm playing this with four back and approximately 0.3 bars of right spin in this 
crosswind condition. Always keep that in mind, guys, especially if you're new to the game and you're just checking this video out for the first time. And if you are, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you need, what you want. But this kind of shot, it's always going to depend on the wind angle. So we may or may not actually have to adjust that side spin, you know, in all different wind conditions here. But ultimately, I tried going for the rough bump that we used to play up there in the bush. And because of the way the new hole position is positioned, it's up behind that bunker quite a bit. So I don't know if like a side spin four or five ball or something would do that. But it's just not going to be the, the plan for me. Uh, I'm looking for something straightforward, something reasonably affordable, and oh, if we can get it in that bottom of the hole, that's going to be even better. Hole number five. Time to pull out your big balls. I'm using a Berserker ball, which I got for free from the Golden Shot, and I recommend you check that one out. That's for sure. Four and a half top, two bars of right spin here, and I'm positioning my landing position out between the two trees in the center of the fairway. Yellow ring, I bring it back just a touch so that I can adjust here into this headwind. 2.6, I adjust at 10% maximum distance here. So it's like 1.3 rings or something, if I recall. And you do want to go max over power and like 10, 15% uh, right curl, however you want to look at that, a smidge, a tiny bit, a small amount. Let's take a look um, and do what you think is going to work best for you. Now, that great ball was rather slight so I didn't have to worry too much about it. You don't want to go worse than that or else those trees certainly do. Trust me, uh, they do play uh, effectively blocking that ball from travel. This one here sets up, you'll see when I reach out max distance. So I do play this one 20% maximum distance. And of course, you see that ball guide change a little bit when it moves from the green to the fairway. But the fairway close to the green here seems to work pretty reasonably and i mean this whole position doesn't really change too too much on this hole um, I'm, I'm happy with the way they've been doing these whole location adjustments i think it's been quite fun i don't think other than the one impossible putt hole uh, i don't think they've done anything other than you know extend the life of these courses and uh, and make them a lot of fun so we'll get the drop we'll see you at number six hole number six this is a par five that depending on the wind conditions can actually be quite a good opportunity i want to just take a quick moment to shout out my friend gc addict tv or just addict tv this is the big rig tournament after all and he's out there playing and streaming in the big rig so buddy much love thank you very much three top three right here now i do use a kingmaker here because i need reach for the second shot to continue to use a sniper if you don't want to use a kingmaker you could certainly use a titan but then you might need a longer club for the second shot so just test that out it's going to depend really again what you have available to you this is the kind of course that will push the limits of your bag one ball of right curl here is very important take a close look at that setup where the second bounce is and the half blue ring in the rough on the right there. So getting it down the middle of the fairway here, don't go too far. I picked this example so you can see that that tree will block you and you might wanna use a little bit more curl as well. I'm gonna put one and a half ball of right curl in the notes. So second shot here, I played it at 20. I think you should play it at 30. Three and a half back, three left. And you have a nice look here across the bunker. And you can see how we're very close to max right right there um, and that's why i wanted that power three ball because i would have been struggling to get there if you have a headwind here you're gonna have to really consider just like bringing a big dog or you know reaching into your pocket using the best you've got because like i said this is one of those courses if you've got the club and ball for the situation there's tons of drops out there this is an albi a bull hole absolutely um, but it can also be very challenging so keep that in mind it all depends on what you're playing with. I'm trying to give everybody a fairly general guide that allows you to see the path, how we're playing it, and I'll see you at number seven. Well, number seven, and you're going to see here, I'm playing with an extra mile and ultimately a Titan ball. Do you notice with the Katana how I just can't quite reach? Now, I could use a little bit of overpower there. That would be just fine. But for consistency's sake, I switched up to this Titan ball so I can reach cleanly to the next fairway without needing to do any extra adjustments. Two bars of top spin, two bars of right spin here, and I am adjusting this shot at 10% max. Guys, if you're getting value from this video, consider subscribing to the channel. 
hit that like button on the video. I'd absolutely appreciate it. I'm always putting out Golf Clash content, at least a rookie video, and free notes on my AirlikeGaming.com webpage for rookie. And in pro, I put out notes for the nine hole tournaments. We create those live together in the stream. So don't go too long here. You can definitely get into that rough, but it could be pushed a little bit longer. I like leaving myself in roughly this distance because then we can play this thorn at 10 percent medium distance now i end up giving this shot four and a half bars of backspin and i'm aiming to to land there up on the fringe just because it gives a consistent bounce the fairway in front of the fringe does start to slope away rather quickly and that can change the consistency or the outcome of the shot so again you could land on the fringe or the green is also a very good position you can make a lot work uh, it just depends on your perspective 10% mid, like we said, clean, crisp adjustment, hitting perfect is usually very, very helpful. Uh, but in this situation, I thought it was rather amusing to see just how playdemic I got there. Oh, 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 come on, number eight. Hole number eight, this one's easily my favorite note of the whole round. I do have the Titan ball here. I forgot to change it, but you're going to see how that didn't really matter. 2.1 bars of backspin, 0 0.6 right with a no moving target set up once again. And I basically just got the tip of the ball guide to the pin. That's going to work in this wind angle, in this wind scenario. Remember, in the tournament, this isn't a gimme. None of the shots are, but it's going to get you very, very close. So one to one was the pull there for every one win we pull one ring it's clean easy get the hole i'll see you on the final hole of the tournament hole number nine this par five has always been like the little hole that could but for me just couldn't I, tight titan ball extra mile four and a half top two left i'm basically playing a driver rough bump here to the second fairway you can definitely play the curl shot if you feel like it um i just felt like going with the rough bump approach this time this is very consistent and it will give you a very repeatable uh, drive distance now half a ball half a ball i didn't use quite that much but you could use at least that much of left curl here just to give this one a nice angle of approach depending on the level of your wood club here is going to depend on which one you chose i picked this horizon because it has more reach than my sniper um, however it's always going to depend on your bag with the new hole position here the i think the the chance of the albatross has actually gone up i played this second shot 10 percent max and max no not max just a little bit there half a couple ticks of top spin here um just because it it can get kind of stuck there on this slope i had a few that kind of got stuck in the rough there because of the wind right so you might want to play a viper here you might have a big dog just to get it there maybe you got a sniper 10 and you really have a good ball guide and had an even longer drive you can go for the rough bump as well so i just try to show a nice walk through here to give you a good look at it i wish you the very best of luck in the big rig tournament I'm looking forward to this one, and I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you for watching.